For this video, I've got out my big bore do-it-yourself uh, air rifle, caliber 565, breech loading, uh, operated by a piston valve, barrel is uh, 42 inch long copper pipe, uh, four groove rifling in it, and the trigger mechanism is uh, an electric switch that operates a solenoid valve that serves to pilot the QEV. I've got this set up on the bench and I've hooked it up this time to my high pressure air system. I'm also going to get some chronograph measurements. You can barely see it, but the chronograph is set up uh, over there and uh, I'll be able to get the video camera onto the chronograph screen. This is the ammo for uh, this test on high pressure air. A AA battery and three cast lead slugs of around 500 grains in weight. Firing pressure will be about 22 bars, 320 psi. Let's try a lead slug. Let's try some caliber 565 cast lead ball ammo, such as what I'm showing here. This shot will use the round ball and I'll be firing at 25 bars, 360 psi. Four hundred and forty-eight point seven feet per second. Another shot with another round ball at the same firing pressure. Four hundred and thirty-three point nine feet per second. And it looks like it to uh, hit. Yeah, I can zoom in 10 meters to the target and they hit within an inch of each other. Here's where the two round balls hit in the 10 meter target area. The piece of plywood is 5 eighths plywood and behind it there's a piece of uh, 3 quarter inch uh, melamine particle board. Both balls went straight through the plywood and they went straight through the melamine. Behind the two pieces of wood is of course my steel plate and I was easily able to find the two uh, lead balls that I fired. Here they are. This one got a flat spot on it from uh, hitting the steel backstop and this one also got a bit of a flat spot on it that has some wood still stuck in it. Both of these will have to be recast. This time I'm loaded with a AA battery. Let's try the AA battery. Looks like we got 346.7 feet per second from a AA battery. I've got another dead double A here, so I think I'll just uh, try again. That time I got 353.6 feet per second, 
firing pressure was 270 PSI for those two shots with the AA batteries. Here's a look at the first AA battery that I fired. I was able to find it. Didn't find the second one yet. Oh well. This one uh, is a bit flattened and uh, misshapen. Uh, it won't fit in the barrel again to uh, reuse it. So that's it for this one. Despite being fired through a rifled barrel, the battery did not to stabilize in flight, and it clearly hit sideways rather than nose on. This was a piece of three-quarter inch uh, veneer covered particle board, and the battery, despite hitting sideways, blasted right through. Here's a look at the uh, rear of that three-quarter inch board that the AA battery went through. It uh, blew off quite a chunk on its way by. It got flattened against the inch-thick steel plate that was behind this wood.